We were going through a lot. A lot of emotional things were coming up, surfacing for us. I don't know who needs to hear this, but this is your reading for the week. Hi, welcome to your readings for this week. This past week, we were going through a lot. A lot of emotional things were coming up, surfacing for us. We had a full moon. We had a total eclipse. And besides that, on top of everything, we had a super moon, which it just means a lot of emotions have been surfacing. A lot of things have been coming up. And everything in every aspect of our lives have been amplified, amplified to, to the, the mass. mass. That was last week, but we're still feeling the tail end of that energy from last week. So we have to be cautious of that and understand that, you know, this is something we're going through as people, as humanity, aware of that energy uh, and its effect on us. Now, for the readings this week, we picked for the Nine of Wands. And this one basically is just like fear, caution, defensiveness, inner strength, resilience, but faith also. In this card, what I saw was we're going through a lot of things this week, obviously because of the energy, but we're feeling okay and we're feeling comfortable in our, in our lives, but we're starting to see some things coming apart little by little. We're starting, some things are starting to poke their head out in our lives. And as soon as we notice these things and these patterns, we need to be alert and, and focus. And that's where our tools are going to come to effect. We need to notice these things, be open to them and start working on them as soon as we see them. Let's not wait till it's a big thing, till it, it just snowballs into a huge ball. Let's get it when we can, as soon as we see it, as soon as we start detecting this energy, we need to be aware of it and say, okay, and this is a problem or this can become a problem. Let's start focusing on this and let's start healing and working on this energy right here, right now. So that's the, the nine of wands. It's just that energy that we we're seeing coming into play. We need to make sure that we work on ourselves, that we see we are aware and open to things that might come and understanding that, that we have the faith, the courage, and we can overcome. We have resiliency. We're very resilient. We can overcome anything. Those are our tools that we have. So put them to play. Put them to play as soon as you see something poking its head out. The second card we saw is a divine sisterhood. So this is the Oracle card. This card basically says, letting the divine feminine energy come in, nourish you in new relationships, collaborations, community, and friendships. That energy is very good right now. Let's just say you're feeling like either two ways. One, you feel like you found your people, you found your tribe, you found the people you resonate with, and you wanna build it to something more. You wanna collaborate together. You wanna work together to build something bigger, to make community, and, that's amazing for you if you did already. If you haven't, this energy is telling you, hey, go out there and you start finding your people, start looking for your people and make that connection, make those friendships so you can then build upon it and build that spiritual community that you so much need and that you're hungering for. We are all going through this situation now that we feel we want to connect at a deeper level. We want to connect in a way that is not just superficial as it has been in the past. We want to be able to make true connections with people that resonate with us and our energies and where we're at at this moment because we can have friends from the past that they just we're not resonating anymore together you know it was good memories good times and, and amazing support in the past but you feel like you're drifting apart you feel like you're not in the same energy zone or in the same wavelength as you used to be and that's because we're changing the energies are changing around us and everybody's going through their own transition and their own changes so we have to accept that we do have the power to call upon our people, call upon our tribe, as we say, call upon our spiritual family, our spiritual community, and ask to get that connection, ask to connect with those people and for them to show up in our lives so we can truly create a spiritual community. And that's the energy you're getting with this card, Divine Sisterhood. So you're a part of a community that is based in equality, respect, if you're not part of it, then you want to be part of a community that is solely based in equality, respect, healthy boundaries, and personal freedom with a mutual desire for spiritual growth and honoring of innate wisdom. Great miracles occur when this happens. You are part of this community of light. At one time, it existed only in the spiritual world, yet now it is being born on the earth. It is part of your destiny to help create and nurture a conscious community that empowers all of its members and is based in truth. 
you have the tools, you have the faith, you have the, the thinking that you need to be able to manifest and to overcome things that are showing up in your life or that will show up in your life. You have gifts that you can overcome things with. And then build this, make your friendships, reach out, manifest these people into your life, manifest your tribe into your life, work together. This is your readings for this week. Basically, you know, keep your eye open and look for that that you're looking for specifically, that you feel like you're not full completely, you're not resonating. So bring those people into your life, attract them into your life, pull them into your life. <laughs> um, this is the reading for your week. Thank you. If you would like to learn more or you're looking for a supportive, open-minded spiritual community, please visit beingonecenter.org. Thank you.